What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been watching, if you don't know what we're doing here, if you don't know what the car is, if you don't know what the channel is, you're watching Garage Rats. We work on cars that are less than ideal and we do some cool stuff to them. Uh, this is junk, the EG hatch, it's turbo, it's K series, it's built, it's, it's everything I wanted it to be and I spent way too much freaking money on it. So this is junk. Uh, currently it's running only four pounds because I'm just trying to get it to seat a little bit. To do that, you need some boost. But right now, the car kind of scares me. It scares the shit out of me. There's a couple of problems that are, are wrong with it. I replaced my brake booster, or my brake, my brake master cylinder. Because my brakes were not killing me in the last video that you saw. So since then, I've replaced the brake master with a uh, AutoZone Special, which seems to be doing the job. Uh, and, and we have wired some lights in the car. So we put these uh, LED strips in, which is it's like it's like daylight it looks so beautiful if anything i'm gonna say it's like a space shuttle now so let me show you what the lights are real quick and then we'll get going on today's video all right so no lights spaceship it looks literally like something out of nasa or spacex inside the car i think for just some cheap amazon parts basically um so it's some 12 volt led strip and then uh, it's aluminum channel with the diffuser strips. You can buy them all on Amazon. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in, in the description if you want to. If you want to rig it up yourself, you kind of have to make up your own switch and stuff like that because there is no. This isn't a DIY kit. This is a well. Let me put it this way. It's not a bolting kit. It is a DIY setup because I made it myself. So you got to be a little bit decent with soldering and you got to watch like the bends or rip the pads off the strip. You just got to be a little crafty. But I think it came out freaking sick. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so on to today's video and what we're working on now. So in a previous video, we built our own K-Series throttle bracket. Well, in the last drive that I did, the one I also didn't show you because it's kind of hard to film and all that, uh, I found a tuning issue. The tuning issue I thought was throttle position sensor related, meaning that if I put my foot just a little bit on the pedal, like, you know, like you're doing when you're just cruising at speed, I was under the impression that, you know, it should be, you know, registering. But one of the things I found is if you don't have your throttle pedal set right, or you don't have the adjuster correctly, uh, you're going to have a dead spot at the beginning of your throttle. And so it kind of created this like bucking motion. So I was looking, looked at my throttle and uh, come to find out, uh, I have a dead spot in my throttle body. So my throttle cable was adjusted all the way maxed adjust meaning you couldn't get any more tension on that throttle cable now if you look that throttle plate if you watch it if i pull on this just a little bit no i do i'm not actuating the cable i'm just tugging on it right but if you look there's that little play that's my problem i'm getting what i think on my throttle pedal is like i'm starting to get into throttle but i've got a little delay so from there if i wanted to press my pedal it would work which means i need to readjust my mount for my throttle so normally if you had a throttle cable bracket that was built correctly you could just tighten those screws and it would push that the cable a little bit further away and it would take the slack out of the throttle body however since i made my own and i didn't make it big enough or far enough out to account for that gap I don't have any adjustment. So we need to make a new bracket to do some adjustment. So I doodled a, a drawing, which I don't know where it is, but basically we're going to build our own out of some flat stock that we got from Home Depot. I'm gonna find my C-clamp and uh, bolt it to the table here and I'm gonna start doodling out some stuff and we'll get it cut, welded, and put back on the car. Okay, so we got three pieces that are all just about the same. They're a little little off, but that's okay because this isn't precision work. So this is the crude drawing of what we're doing. So top down, we have three pieces of metal that's 20, 40, and 45. 
Uh, so if you think about it, this piece would be 20. This is what bolts to the throttle body. You have another piece like that that's 45. That's just the, the horizontal alignment. And then you have another piece that sticks out 40, uh, 45. And then that's where our bracket will mount in the middle. Um, this might change just because I'm still figuring it out. So first things first, we need something like this, but we need it to be 20 wide. So we're gonna, we're gonna mark out 20 and rip it. Part one, it's two more pieces. We've uh, we've welded this together, and uh, I did some grinder grinder and paint. Makes me the welder I ain't. If you never heard that, that's a I can't weld properly with whatever. So uh, flapper wheeled it down. That's the that's the trick. I even had to I had to notch out the piece a little bit just to get it some uh, some room around the coupler. Did that with my Dremel, uh, what, are, what do they call them, carbide pieces. So took a little bit out. Uh, so now we need to figure out the the last piece, which is the the dropout. So you can see, pretty much lined up where I need to be here. Right, right about there. That's where I want it to be. Boom. All right, so it's kind of ugly, but it'll work. It'll work a lot better than what we had before. Uh, so now if you look at the throttle body, before we were adjustment wise, we were like right here, which meant we couldn't pull back this, this piece back at all any because the nut would have to go that way. And now there's no, it's it's ready to open so and if that's too much we still got some back and off we can do just enough that we can like you know do this number and then if I do this what you'll notice is that play comes back so right there is where the issue was occurring so if you see the whatever so the plate wasn't opening and we had a ton of problems so this plate was like here and we were having that. So now, now we have adjustment options. So we could back, back this off, pull the cable back a little, and then tighten it back down here. And then when you do that, you start, you know, removing that, that, uh, that play in the throttle body. That's kind of the gist of it. I got a little bit more welding to do on the plate, but I'm tired of taking it on and off and bringing it back and showing you guys more. So we're going to call this done. I am going to throw a lick of paint on it and whatever, but uh, you'll see that in the next video. So quick little fat video. Hope you'd like it. Uh, I'm going to try and continue little short videos of just one topic, one thing that we're doing. We got a pile of stuff that we need to do to this car to really be able to drive it securely. 
we still need to get seat belts and stuff like that. So if you're interested in the build, uh, stick around, hit subscribe, stay tuned, and there will be more videos on Junk, the 95EG hatch. If you want to see more about this car, you want to know more about the build, uh, put a card up at the top and uh, you can go watch that playlist because that has everything from when we bought this car just about two years ago. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.